testicular self-examination is a really easy way for a man to check his own testicles to make sure that he doesn't have any lumps or bumps or any signs that might be a possible early indicator of testicular cancer. Testicular cancer is rare and accounts for only about 1% of all male cancers. It's most common in men aged 15 to 35. If it's caught early, it's almost always curable. That's why I'm here today and that's why it's really important for every man with a learning disability to learn how to examine his own testicles. Testicular self-examination helps you become familiar with what's normal for you. What's the normal shape, size and weight of your testicles? What do they look like? It helps you be able to recognise when something changes and recognise the need to get some help. It takes a matter of minutes to do a self-testicular examination and potentially it could save your life. Testicular self-examination should be completed monthly on average, from teenagers onwards. It should be best done after a warm bath or a shower and that's because the warm water and the warmth relaxes the scrotum, that's the sac which covers the testicles and it makes the process less uncomfortable and just easier to do. If possible, you need to stand in front of a mirror. You need to hold your penis up so that you can see and you can visually check for any changes. That's any changes in size or shape or any changes in colour. It's also a good idea to put your hands gently underneath your testicles and your, scro your scrotum sac and to feel the weight of your testicles. Just feel generally how heavy they are. You'll quickly learn what's normal for you and therefore learn how to recognise if something's wrong. You need to examine one testicle at a time. Using both hands if you can, you need to place your thumb over the top of your testicle and your fingers behind your testicle. You need to gently roll your testicle between your finger and your thumb. This should be done using light pressure. It shouldn't be hard enough to hurt. You need to feel for any lumps or bumps all around your testicle. Remember, a lump might be as small as a tiny piece of rice or even a pea. Your testicle should feel quite smooth without any lumps or bumps and it should be firm but not hard. Remember, it's quite normal for one of your testicles to be slightly larger than the other one. It's also quite normal for one of your testicles to hang slightly lower than your other one. Towards the back of each testicle, you'll find a small rope-like structure. It's important that you learn how to identify this through self-examination. You will feel a soft rope-like structure at the back of each testicle. This is the epididymis. It's a tube which carries and stores the sperm from your testicle. It might feel slightly tender, but not so. It's important that you know where this is and what it feels like so that you don't confuse it with a lump or bump later. If you do notice any swelling or any lumps or bumps anywhere on your testicle or you're at all worried about your testicle, it's really important that you tell somebody, either tell a carer, tell a support worker, but really you need to be seeing your GP, you need to be getting checked out. It's unusual for men to develop cancer in both testicles, so a good way of checking if you think you've felt something and you're not entirely sure is check your other testicle as well. If that feels exactly the same, then it's unlikely to be something of concern. But remember, any lumps, bumps, any changes in colour, any changes in size or shape of your, of your testicle, you really need to be seeing your GP for advice. There are many reasons that you might find a lump, a bump or a swelling in your testicle. Whatever the reason, it's important to get it checked out by the doctor. It's important to note though that only four out of every 100 lumps found turn out to be testicular cancer. Ultimately, it's important that you remember to check your testicles every month. Those few minutes spent doing a testicular self-examination potentially could save your life.